Hi, it's Andy again, and um, today I'm going to do a, a tutorial with the Android Wear um, emulator. Uh, I created an app that uh, simulates the, the voice reply and uh, how to get that text in, inside of another activity. So what I'm going to do here is actually um, show you what the app does real quick and I'll show you how I did it. It's actually very simple. So uh, basically, this is just a hello world activity. You start it by hitting a button up here. And uh, hang on. So when we get it in here, we have a reply option. And then when you reply, you can type, how is it going today? So then it's going to confirm that I want to actually do that. So save. And then it opens up a new activity with their actual response. So how's it going today? So I'll show you how to do this. It's actually very easy. Um, you will require two um, activities. So I made a sample app with two activities. The first one is just a um, the main activity inflates the hello world that you get. And then uh, I created the the content for the the notification here inside the the you know the action bar so when you click it you have to create an intent so um, the intent that we're gonna load is the, the other activity so you have to create the other activity make sure you put it in your manifest so you don't uh, mess it up it's real easy just add your other activity here okay uh, then you have to create a pending intent so the activity that we're or the context that we're using is this activity so the main activity uh, we're putting zero the pen the actual intent that we want to load once we select an action and then uh, put zero again then uh, we're going to be using the notification compat uh, this style is the big text style um, we're just going to set that as a style for now um, then we need to actually build the notification that you see. So that'll be um, setting the icon, which I just put the generic uh, icon in there. Um, I put it in there twice, actually. So if you see on here, um, under here, you have the big picture icon in the back and then the little icon here. That's what, um, that's kind of what these two icons are doing. So the small icon large icon um, you know you don't even have to use those if you don't want then uh, I sent the content titles and the cont uh, content text so that you can see what they look like exactly where they go uh, and then we want to send set the intent so when we click on um, if we click on actually if you scroll here open that's what this uh, intent that we're we're building is it's just the open intent um, and then set the style but we want to actually have a remote input, which is a, the voice input that will be simulated on the watch. So create a remote input. Um, and this is a key that we're actually going to use, the extra voice reply. Um, that's just a, a static string that you put up here. Uh, you can set it to nothing and then test to see if it's uh, null later. If, if it's null, you know, don't do anything. If it's not null, then, you know, accept the, the text and do something with it. I didn't do that. It's just real quick, easy text. Um, so you, you create, this is actually how we're going to store the string that we're going to pass between the two activities. So, um, so this reply label is a string right here. Title for reply. If you want, you just do reply. Um, that's actually when you open up here. And you scroll, uh, when you click here, title for reply shows up here. So that's what that is. All right. And then we need to actually implement the, the remote input. So we're going to do a wearable notifications action. So we're going to do this as a reply action. Uh, reply is going to be the title. So that's actually what you see here on the bottom, reply. Um, we want it to, when we click it, to load up the pending intent afterwards, which is the other activity. And then uh, we need to add this remote input. So that's going to be here. So that we need to tell it to um, accept some kind of text that um, 
that uh, the, the user is going to end up speaking to the, to the watch and we build it. Uh, and then we need to add the reply action. So into the notification, just add the reply action. And then uh, just uh, notification manager, notify. Uh, I just put the notification ID if you need to, you know, if you have multiple notifications, you need to, you know, give it an ID or something like that so you can keep track of which ones are which and then uh, which notification you want to send. So that's uh, that's this one that we're doing. So all I'm doing in the re on the receiving end is, um, so this is another hello world, it's just a text view that I inflate if, uh, it's right here, it's just a text view. And normally would say hello. So what I'm doing is instead, um, we're getting that, uh, that get intent, get extra string, or get string extra, and um, this is the the key that we're using the extra voice reply. That's this. Um, this is the key, the string key that we're using for this. Uh, and then we need to set that as the text. So get the text view, then set text as the reply. It's uh, pretty simple. It's not uh, not difficult to do. Um, this will hopefully be useful to you in uh, developing your Android Wear apps. All right. Have a good day.